I have this Neewer fly cam, slide cam, glide cam, basically a camera stabilizer. my tuberuskis buenos dias and welcome back to the channel today was a great day it was raining off and on all night and into some of the morning this morning i captured some of it and that's what you're seeing right now and i just just thought it was beautiful today and then it just cleared up the skies cleared up and everything was beautiful so hey so i have got something for you today so i've got a unboxing I've got an unboxing of sorts, but I am not gonna bore you with the usual and typical unboxing, uh-uh. You know, usually you go and get, you get the knife, then you go do that whole time-lapse thing. No, we're gonna get right into it. Let's see what we got. So I got the newer, I think that's how you pronounce this thing. I think I've been pronouncing this name for a while the wrong way. I have this newer fly cam, slide cam, glide cam, basically a camera stabilizer. So it's not quite a gimbal. I think your whole body and it becomes a gimbal. But what I wanted to do is from start to finish, open it up, time myself to see how long it takes to stabilize my Canon 70D with an 18 to 135 lens on it. And the battery's in and the SD card is in. Some of the things you should be looking out for. Um, and some tips to start out. All glide cams, fly cam, steady cam. Okay, first of all, let's decide on a name. We're gonna just go with steady cam. Are we cool with that? We're cool with that, Pablo. That's great. This thing's really cool. Just out of the box, it just feels really good. You know, you're gonna be able to get that, but this is, you know, you're gonna be able to get some buttery cool shots, you know, like, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's get to it, don't you think? All right, before I hurt myself. This is a small sled down here. Some are a bit longer and larger, so you'll get a different balancing position on the bottom, but we don't need to worry about on this one. All, what you can do is move the weights in and out along the Steadicam base or this plate down here. One of the tips is to work with all the weights off just to see what it feels like, and then you can start adding weights on as you go. So let's do that first. So just to note, it comes with three weights on each side. I don't know their actual individual weights, but there's three of them, one heavier than the other two separate ones. Ah, can you see that? Can you see that? So now I do not have any weights here on the bottom sled, which makes it really light. This blue little valve here, or turning knob, this allows this post to get a little bit longer. And to note that on some of these steady cams, the positioning of the handle, or what you would call the gimbal area here, that you're the, you're kind of the gimbal, can move up and down, but not on this version of the Steadicam. So there's lots of different ways to balance this, It's um, and you're gonna have to mess with it. I know they're all a little bit different. One of the things you'll wanna do is adjust the height, or the length, you'll wanna adjust the weight system down here, and you'll wanna adjust the head of the Steadicam with the camera either leaning forward or backwards and left to right. So we will work on all of those things right now. Okay, the top plate detaches by loosening this side blue screw. It pulls out the side rail, and you're able to pop out this little tracking head system that the camera attaches itself to. You can finger tighten it first, and then you'll need a flat head screwdriver or uh, some type of coin will work as well. Once you get the bottom plate affixed to the bottom of your camera, just like so, you slide it back on the head of the tracking system here. And for now, you just wanna set it on top and go ahead and tighten, go ahead and tighten the screw on the side so you're closing that little fence or track. There we go. It's nice and tight, cannot move. I do not have any weights on it whatsoever. I do not, I know it's not gonna be balanced, but let's just see where it goes. Yeah, it wants to go crazy, it's very top heavy. There's no weights on it at all. I will say while it's in this position, you might wanna go top heavy if you wanna film lower shots because you're not gonna be able to get those lower shots with all of this in the way once it's down here. You're gonna have that, you're gonna have that void based on the bar so you can only get so low to the ground. You're gonna actually hit the ground first with this base. So this would be another way that you would wanna rebalance if you wanna get those low shots with your, with your camera this way, right? But that's not what we're working on right here. Okay, so let's get this back up. I'm basically gonna unsecure the screws here and add some of the weights. We have placed some of the weights on the bottom here. And so look at it now. It's not top heavy anymore. It's just leaning left to right. 
So again, vertical in two to three seconds here. Now this may still spin around, but vertical in two to three seconds. Here we go. 1001, no, not even close. So we need to either shorten the length. So I wanna try that first. I'm gonna bring it down close to the bottom here. Let's try that vertical test now. Ready, go. 1001, 1002, 1001, 1002. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some more length by again, loosening this this guy here, pull it out a little bit. There we go. 1001, 1002. That's, that's not too bad. It's not perfect. Adjusting the weights a little bit. What I did was I moved the weight to the front, the very front edge of the, to the very front edge of the sled. So it's actually hanging off the sled and the back even with the edge of the sled. So let's see if that helps the front to back movement okay so it's leaning forward so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go ahead and move the head or the camera back a bit I've read about this I've watched videos on this that the first time you ever use one of these it's gonna take a little bit of time especially when you don't know the settings or the weight or anything of your camera and the steady cam itself but once you got it dialed in and you mostly use the same rig you slide your camera back onto the steady cam and you, you should just have minor adjustments to make so just be patient as you're doing this because it can get tedious and it just takes time to get used to not only can you move the track forward and backwards you can also move the head left and right and all that is loosened by this nut right here so again you loosen this and now you can move the head left and right we're going to need to do that as we balance this camera but i'm going to tighten this back up right now i'm going to slide the camera right back on here but i'm going to move it back slightly you're going to have to play with these adjustments so it's actually leaning towards the right what you want to do is counteract that by sliding the head to the left and we've moved it to the left a little bit tighten that back up see what we got okay it's hanging in there the left and right is looking pretty good I'm gonna move the camera forward slightly again all these are just little micro adjustments that you're gonna have to kind of make and and just take the time take the time be patient you'll get it it's not too bad I'm digging that that's that whole oh 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 this is what I was looking for it's not quite there I know I got to make some a few more adjustments I bumped it what is advised is you don't just hold it with one hand you definitely want to have a hand on the grip and a hand here so that you can do these slow moving pans if you want but the idea is to make sure that you know you have two hands on and that you're never letting go really um, in most situations you want to you want to be able to like guide it it's not necessarily controlling it but it is guiding it um, this is your guiding hand okay feels pretty good I'm getting a little ahead of myself I'm excited that that it's pretty balanced pretty lucky here I think um, but not out of the water yet I gotta go do some practicing but let's do that two second two to three second drop 1001 1002 pretty good it probably can use some more micro adjustments, but I'm pretty happy about that. So just remember, it's all in the balancing. You've got the head of the camera move forward and backwards, left and right. You've got the length of the post up and down, shorter, longer, and then you've got the weights on the bottom. Try, those are the things that you wanna get balanced. And once you have all that balanced, it's actually pretty cool. So when I pick it up, it should be good to go. It's pretty straight. Again, remember the left hand is here to just hold it underneath the bearing. And as you're moving along, that you're, it's just a guide. It's just a guide. Again, I have zero, zero, exactly zero hours, only the few minutes that I've used this steady cam. And it's actually been, it's actually been quite an easy process. Um, it's actually a lot harder to try to videotape this the first time out versus actually just concentrating on it by itself. So, I think that it's doable by everybody. You can get out there and get one of these. This was about $75. The link's down in the description below, but there's many like it. There's cheaper ones, there's more expensive ones. Um, but I thought this was middle of the road and I just wanted to see if, I, if, if it was usable. So this is part one of part two. Tomorrow we're actually gonna go out and field test this. I'm gonna hook up with my friend Clinton. He's gonna get on his skateboard, do a little parkour for me. And um, I don't think he does parkour, but if I ask him nicely, he might. So anyways, we'll see you tomorrow. I hope this has been a useful tutorial by somebody that's never touched a steady cam. And uh, yeah, look, I mean, check it out. We're, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Check it out. We're like, we're doing it. Oh, oh.
I guess I need a little bit more help. But again, you may not get it on the first try. Don't be discouraged. I think we're uh, we're on the right track. We just need some more micro adjustments. All right, remember, always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your lives. And when you're having that fun, remember to always keep it fun enough. Outro! Bing!